Hey everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com and today we're making a berry crumb cake. It has a buttery crunchy topping, a juicy layer of berries, and a soft and airy cake. No one has to know, it was super easy. And there's a surprising liquid ingredient that creates a really light and fluffy cake. Let's do this. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Then in a large mixing bowl, combine three large room temp eggs with one cup of sugar and beat together on high speed for about five minutes or until thick and whipped. Now add one fourth cup of light olive oil and mix just until combined. In a separate bowl, whisk together two cups of flour and two and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Add half of the flour mixture to the batter and stir just until combined. Add one whole tablespoon of lemon zest and this gives the cake an amazing pop of fresh flavor. Add one teaspoon of real vanilla extract, then stir to combine. We add one third cup of club soda or seltzer water. The more carbonated, the better. The air bubbles make the cake super fluffy and airy. Add the club soda while mixing. Finally, add the remaining flour and stir just until combined. Line a 9 inch springform pan with a ring of parchment paper and generously butter the bottom and sides of the pan. Transfer all of the batter to your prepared pan. Slightly even out the top, then on to the berries. We cut the strawberries in halves and leave the rest of the berries whole. Arrange the fruit evenly over the top and there's no need for perfection. Let's quickly make our crumb topping. In a medium bowl, combine 3 fourths cup flour, a quarter cup of sugar, 4 tablespoons of unsalted butter, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Rub the butter and flour together between your fingertips to create crumbs. Sprinkle the crumbs evenly over the top of your cake, then bake in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 45 to 50 minutes. We found our sweet spot at about 48 minutes and bake until a toothpick comes out clean. All right, this has been resting in the pan for about 15 minutes and I just can't wait any longer. <laughs> We're gonna do a taste test. Okay, so we wanna loosen it up from the pan and just use a thin edge spatula to carefully go around the edge. Oh, and I can already tell this is gonna be a really soft cake. Okay, you ready? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh man, it's as beautiful as it is delicious. So let's cut into this beauty. Generous slice, of course. Okay, <laughs> excited. Oh, take a look at that. This is so good. <laughs> All right, let's eat this already. Oh, I, I just love that this is my job. <laughs> eat all the cake. Okay, here we go. Mm. 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 Wow. <laughs> I know I say that a lot, but wow. <laughs> I love that buttery, crunchy topping. You can taste just a little hint of salt. It is so good. And then that juicy layer of berries, and I'm telling you, baked berries are so good. Baking berries just really amplifies the flavor, and it's just this flavor explosion in your mouth. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe that, but they're so good. And then it has that super fluffy crumb cake underneath. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so happy this is easy because I can make this all the time. <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you later. Hey, before you go, if you love berries and especially desserts with berries, check these out right over here and click below to subscribe. And when you do, click that little bell icon so you'll get notifications every time we post a new recipe. We'll see you later.